Hello everyone, welcome back. We are talking about DC superheroes, the big titles. Superman, Batman, Flash, Detective Comics, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, the big boys. So I kind of wanted to just give you guys some close-up shots of these books. I know I've showed some of these books before on the channel, but I never have given you those close-up 4K, 1080p images y'all want and need. This is the first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin. You may be asking yourself, Sticky, why ain't you got that one slabbed? Well, it's in about a .5, so I'm not real anxious to slab that one. I thought I'd let you guys kind of in on how I got these books. I have not paid a single dollar for any of these books. The only money I've got invested are the bags and boards and the box that's holding them. So, this these books were my... Uh, are my father's books, our books, our books now. So these books, um, I got these at the start of uh, COVID pretty much. So back 20, yeah, 2020, back in like April. Um, so we were, uh, I was with dad and I said, hey dad, you still, you still got those old comic books? He said, "Yeah, I got them. So I think I think they may be uh, in in my uh, storage building, storage shed." And I said, "Okay, hmm." I got to thinking about it, and I thought, "Oh my God, what if those are exposed to the elements? What if those are like not taken care of properly?" Well, we get in the car, we go over there, and we get there. We're trying the key. We don't have a key. The key don't work in the lock. So this is kind of like an outside, an outdoor, more storage building kind of more like a garage like you see those like on storage wars well i go and i'm like trying to get the key we don't get it we end up having to come back cutting the lock off i should have filmed all of this like this is back when i first started the channel and really this collection is what got me into comics for all intents and purposes but uh this is what started all this madness but so we get we get we ended up getting the key uh, lock uh, the lock cut off, and they had to like take like a saw. It was crazy. It was like a whole thing. Man, I wish we could have filmed it. Anyway, we go in there. Dad's got these books in just like egg crates. Like back in the day, I guess they still do this now. I don't know like how eggs come like in these big crate big boxes. And they're just laying on top of each other, just stacked. No bags, no boards. Expose the elements. And I start paging through, and and like one of the first things that's like laying there is like first Batgirl and like first uh, Poison Ivy. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what is in here? And like, there's a bunch of Nick Fury books and a bunch of war books, and and I'm like, okay, okay. And I just going through these, and I mean, we've got major titles. I mean, we've got we got all the big stuff: Superman, Batman, all the all the all the keys. No Marvel stuff. No Marvel stuff. We, I might be retired. I might be retired if there was a big stack of Marvel books in there. <laughs> but um, the DC books are here. And, uh, man, just looking back about what if, like, I would have been one of the, the best videos. It would have been one of the greatest videos I ever made. Looking back on it, but, oh well. If I didn't find this collection... And I didn't end up going through them with my dad and didn't get go in, in through them, you know, sorting them and bagging them and boarding them and looking up the values and looking up what they were. I don't think I would have ever gotten into all this. I would have never been making this video. I would have never been talking to you guys right now. It's crazy to think about that. But just one decision, just one decision one day saying, hey, dad, you still got those old comic books in there? And it's just kind of led me down this path. It's crazy. And man, I'm glad I did it. I wish I would have done it a little bit earlier because uh, I think the comic book prices would have been significantly lower, but it was just a perfect storm. It was just a perfect storm. You got COVID, you got people staying in, you got people buying collectibles, you got people you know, not going out and going to concerts, going to shows, going to whatever, you know, just buying stuff. But... Uh, I got them now, and I'm sharing them with you guys. So we got, 
Those were my Superman issues. Some of those you can see don't even have covers. We got a 10 cent Detective Comics right here, and that thing is beat up. But uh, a lot of these, I, I you know, I've picked through them pretty good. I mean, there's some there's some more minor keys in here, like I think this that's second appearance of Batgirl, maybe. Um, you know, there's some minor keys. I think second appearance uh, Poison Ivy was there. Um, but these are just like these are just classic books, Silver Age books, Twelve Centers. I mean. They're incredible. I mean, I sometimes I just go back in there and look at them, and you know, there's just something special about still having them raw. I love, I love the slabs. I love, you know, you guys have seen the slab wall. Hopefully, if you haven't already, go check that video out. But uh, I, I love the, I love the slabs because I love having something graded and knowing what you have and the increased value it comes with it and the displayability. It's just, it's just cool. It's special. But to have them raw like this and just go through a short box, I don't know. There's just something pure about it. There's just something like this is how it's like meant to be. It's how it's supposed to be. These are just in poly. I mean, these are just in, you know, just regular bags. These aren't in Mylar bags. I mean, I mean, there's his collection. I mean, there's thousands of books in that. And I, I, I mean, I can show you everything. But a lot of them are war books, and I don't know if a lot of people were interested in that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the close-ups. But I mean, to to put mylar in all the on all these, I mean, that would cost. I mean, it costs an arm and a leg. And is it really worth it? I mean, they're in a lot. They're protected a lot better than what they were. But none of these books are like. I mean, some of these are maybe like fives, maybe sixes. Cause we got we got one of those back uh, second appearance second time uh, Flash and Superman race. Um, I love these Green Lantern books. By the way, I, man, I am that may be the next hill I want to climb. That may be the next battle I want to fight is putting a Green Lantern run together. Cause man, that that's probably. I mean, I got so many of the Batman keys now. Man, putting the Green Lantern together, that might be what I need to do. But um, coming up here is Hawkman. That, that's the one that made me sick. It's like we were all around, uh, I think it's like, what is it, number four versus Atana? Oh, man. I was devastated. He kept bringing books out. Like, uh, here just recently, because he like moved and like built a house or whatever... And like he came, he came back, and he's like, "I got more comics," and I'm like, "You're kidding me!" And uh, we went over there, and he had another stack. He had first Parasite, first appearance of Parasite, um, and then he had uh, first um, first Catwoman, Silver Age. I'm like, "You got to be kidding me!" We ended up slabbing that one, cleaning it, pressing it, got a 4.0 on it. I was too happy. Love that cover. It's all, it's on the wall now, but um, it's crazy. I mean. So fortunate, so fortunate to lucky into this. But I, I mean, I think that's a that's a pretty. I mean, that's not an uncommon story. I mean, you you ha, you fall you you fall into a, a bunch of books from a relative or a parent or whatever the case, and you know it kind of starts your journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Me rattling on my little story. Hope you guys lo enjoy, enjoyed looking at the books. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.